Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting out, raised beds offer a wealth of benefits, and brick is a fantastic material to create them with. Why brick raised garden beds? So, why choose brick for your raised beds? Here are some key reasons. Durability. Brick is incredibly strong and weather resistant. Unlike wood, it won't rot or warp, meaning your raised beds will last for years to come. Aesthetics. Brick adds a classic, timeless look to any garden. It complements a variety of design styles, from traditional cottage gardens to modern minimalist spaces. Low maintenance. Unlike wood, brick requires minimal upkeep. You won't need to worry about staining or sealing it. Improved drainage. Bricks naturally allow for good drainage, preventing water from pooling around your plant's roots. Defines your space. Brick edging creates a clean separation between your flower bed and surrounding areas, adding a sense of order and organization. Planning your brick-raised garden bed. Here are some key things to consider. Size and shape. Think about the space you have available and the flowers you want to grow. Raised beds can be any size or shape, but for practicality, keep in mind that you'll want to be able to reach the center comfortably while standing outside the bed. Location. Choose a spot that gets plenty of sunlight for most flowering plants. Also consider factors like access to water and foot traffic. Height. Raised beds can be built to various heights. Higher beds are easier to work in and deter pests, but lower beds might be more aesthetically pleasing in some situations. Brick type. There are many types of bricks to choose from, each with its own color and texture. Red clay bricks are a popular choice, but consider using reclaimed bricks for a unique rustic look, building your brick-raised garden bed. Now, let's get down to the fun part, building your raised bed, required materials. Bricks, enough for your desired size and height. Landscape edging is optional for stability. Sand, gravel for drainage, landscaping fabric, shovel, level, mallet, rubber mallet recommended, work gloves, mortar mix is optional for added stability. Prepare the ground, mark the outline of your raised bed with spray paint or string. Remove any vegetation within the marked area. Dig a shallow trench, around two, three inches deep, around the perimeter. This will help secure the base of your brick wall, laying the first course. Place your first course of bricks along the trench, making sure they're level. Use a level and a mallet to adjust them as needed. You can lay the bricks in a running bond pattern or a stack bond pattern. Adding stability is optional. For added stability, especially for taller beds, you can use landscape edging along the inside perimeter of the trench. Alternatively, you can use mortar mix to secure the bricks together. However, this is not always necessary, particularly for lower beds. Building up the walls. Continue laying brick courses, making sure each course is level and follows your chosen pattern. Use a rubber mallet to gently tap the bricks into place, adding drainage. Once you've reached the desired height, it's time to focus on drainage. Lay down a layer of landscaping fabric over the bottom of the raised bed. This will prevent weeds from growing up through the soil but allow water to drain freely. On top of the fabric, Add a layer of gravel around two, three inches deep. This will create a drainage layer to prevent water logging. Filling the bed with soil. Fill your raised bed with high-quality garden soil. Opt for a mix specifically designed for flowers, ensuring good drainage and nutrients for your plants. Thank you.